Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is May Waves from Slidner here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create dialogues in Android using the older alert dialog dot builder method. Now here there are five things I need to discuss. One, how to create a simple dialog that shows a yes and no button, some message inside it. Two, how to create a dialog that shows a list inside where you can select one item at a time. And then we can also talk about selecting multiple items at a time inside that dialog. Four, we need to talk about how we can create a dialog that shows a custom view inside. And last but not the least, how to use the dialog like a normal fragment inside your activity. So these are the five things out of which there will be three things covered in this video. And the last two things will be covered in the next video. So what I have here is my main activity that extends activity. There is nothing great about this. There's just an activity underscore main.xml file with a button inside and there I have an Android on click attribute that calls show dialog. If you guys notice what this show dialog is, go to our main activity. Here is a method called show dialog. So when I click on that button over here, what I'm expecting is to call this method and then display the dialog to the user inside this. But first, I need to create the dialog, right? So here in my alert class over here, I'm trying to create the dialog by extending dialog fragment. And inside this own create dialog method, I'm expected to manually create the dialog and return that object so that the system can display it. So here, first thing I'll do is use the alert dialog dot builder class to construct the dialog by saying alert dialog. So this alert dialog dot builder constructor requires a context inside. So you can pass a context by saying get activity. The reason is we are not inside an activity for passing this inside. So we have to call get activity which will get typecasted to context over here so there you go with that part and then you simply say dialog dialog is create that dialog by saying builder dot create and you need to just return this dialog from this method now the reason you return it is because the system is gonna display the dialog once you have returned it so I'm gonna say dialog over here and that is pretty much done so inside my main activity over here I need to write some code to display the dialog so I'm gonna say my alert I need to first construct my dialog which is called actually my alert remember this entire class my alert actually represents the dialog in our case so going back here say my alert is new my alert over here and that is pretty much done next I need to say my alert dot show so the show method over here takes two arguments either a fragment manager and string or a fragment transaction and string so in this case I'm gonna use the fragment manager and string this fragment manager is going to be passed inside and will be useful for internal management of the dialog. The second parameter string tag can allow you to find this dialog object later by calling find fragment by tag or maybe add it to the back stack or something. So here I'm going to say my alert over here and that is pretty much done. So now when I run this out you guys will notice what is happening exactly. So at this point my emulator is up and running. So when I click the show dialog method, the uh, show dialog button here. The show dialog method inside my main activity gets called where I have written the code to display the dialog. But notice something. Nothing is seen over here. It's just gray in color and it's like nothing was ever shown. The reason is because inside our on create dialog, though we have used the builder, we have not set any properties on this dialog. This is a blank dialog. So we need to set some properties by saying builder dot set title. I'm going, I'm going to say my mess dialog over here. We can set a message over here by saying builder.set message. Can again put something inside this. We can add buttons here, especially two very specific buttons by saying builder.set negative button. As for the dialog guidelines and developer.android.com, you got to add the negative button first and then the positive button. So here, if you guys notice, the set negative button takes two things. One is the string that is going to be present on it. So that is going to be r.string.cancel in my case, which actually contains the text cancel over there. And the second parameter is a listener. That's going to be new dialog interface dot on click listener. Now remember, this negative button set, negative button set, positive button, both of them are very special type of buttons that belong very specifically to the dialog. So they don't respond to the view dot on click listener. Instead, they trigger their events to the dialog interface dot on click listener. So inside this method in the negative button you can probably put a toast that's saying toast dot make text. So the idea of having a positive button is just the same way as having a negative button. So let me actually replicate this code and create the positive button for you guys. 
So at this point, I have my positive button also added to the dialog. It's having a text which is r .string ok, which is nothing but the text ok inside. And then there's the dialog interface on -tick listener that's gonna handle the event when the positive button is clicked, where I simply put up a toast that says positive button was clicked. So now let's run this and find out how things look like. So at this point, when I click show dialog inside my emulator, what is gonna happen is a dialog is gonna pop up which looks pretty good compared to the last blank screen that we guys saw. So here it says my dialog, which is the title which I set here. It says set message, which is this message that I set here where it says do you guys like this blah blah blah. And there's a negative button which is cancel. And then there's the positive button which is okay. So when I click on cancel, it's gonna simply say, well negative button was clicked. Again if I click show dialog over here, the dialog will pop up. And this time if I click the positive button over here, it's gonna do the same thing by saying positive button was clicked so that is our dialog so at this point that was our one that was a simple dialog which shows a title message and two buttons now let's talk about how to display a list inside the dialog so I'm gonna remove this message here by saying builder and then I wanna add some array items over here so I'm gonna set items over here and this has two forms as you guys notice here either you can put a Java string array or you can put an array from your strings.xml so in my case I'm gonna use that strings.xml has a string array whose name equals to days I'm gonna use that here inside my alert by saying r.array.days second parameter is an on click listener so I'm gonna again see new dialog interface so this time if you guys notice the set items has this array and our listener which is responsible for determining which item was clicked so here again we can put up a simple toast message inside that simply says which item was clicked by using this int which position over here so I'm gonna say item was selected kind of stuff so let's go ahead and run this and see how things look right now the only difference we have is builder.set items this time so at this point my emulator is once again up and running I click show dialog over here our dialog pops up and if you guys notice there is my dialog which is the title and all those items are right inside using the set items method that we put over here so if I click Tuesday right now over here it's gonna probably put up a toast message that says item was selected at position number two so I can use that position in some way and maybe find out which item it was because this int which parameter represents the position so that is about making a list where only you can click one item at a time now let's talk about something where we can have several items selected at a time as a builder dot set multi choice items now this is the other method that we have for putting up several items over here at the same time this again has three parameters the first parameter is the array that we want to have which can be in Java or it can be in string or you can also use a database oriented cursor over here so I'm gonna use a simple uh, array from our strings.xml by saying r.string.days oops it should be r.array.days in my case the second parameter boolean checked items is nothing but a boolean array that specifies which items are already checked in our case since none of them are checked I'm gonna pass null over here because that is not required the third parameter is something called on multi choice click listener now this is a separate listener that handles multiple items getting selected inside that list so we'll have to initialize this by saying new on multi choice listener blah 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 and there is our method which is on click now this time if you guys notice there are two parameters int which boolean is checked which means for a given item it's also gonna specify at which position the item was there it was selected or unselected so we're gonna print this simply for now and we can gonna see how things kind of look over here so I have my toast message which simply prints the item from the position number which over here and it specifies whether that was checked or unchecked over here by putting that parameter out so let's again run this and find out how things work like so at this point let's try to find out if our display dialog actually shows several items and allows us to make different choices from them and as you guys notice my dialog and then this time we have a checkbox near each item as I, as I select things over here it says item from position 0 was selected true but if I again click on that it's probably gonna say item from position 0 was selected false which I believe is the position number and then it is also about this the item from position 1 is also selected true now things are running a bit slow and laggy I guess because this is popping up pretty late and there you guys see position 0 was selected false kind of stuff 
So you can use this to data which is int which and boolean is checked to determine whether the user selected a particular item from the list or unselected it and this at given position. So this completes our discussion about the basic stuff that is how to display a simple dialog with some title and some message inside, how to display a dialog with a list and how to display a dialog with several items that can be selected at the same time. So in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to create a dialog that pops up a custom view and then we're going to talk about how we can use the dialog like a normal fragment inside our application. So in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below and support us in any way you can. Thank you very much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.